In this video of C-Sharp Basics, we're going to do a demonstration of using numeric types. So here I went ahead and created a numeric data type folder and put the program.cs class underneath it, as well as I changed the namespace of the program.cs class, as well as I made the appropriate changes to the project to make sure that this program class would be the first class that would run when the project was started. You can go ahead and assume that these will be the changes that I make moving forward to every new class and new folder that we create. So let's go ahead and talk about numeric data types. We already used the string data type when we created this display text variable. Now, because the value that we wanted to assign the display text variable was of a literal type of string, that's why we went ahead and gave it the string data type. First, I'm going to go ahead and comment out this code for the display text by putting two forward slashes in front of the line. Now, using the two forward slashes or commenting out this line means that the compiler will not pick up on this string and use it when it compiles the code. This is a common technique programmers will use when they want to either debug their code or find a problem with their code and they want to comment out certain sections of their code to see if there's something wrong that they might have done in that particular section. The other thing that commenting code out is useful for is to do what we've done just here, where perhaps we want to use this display text uh, string at some other time, but for right now, during the development process, we may just want to comment it out temporarily. I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable and I'm going to put it right below the commented code. Now I want to give my new variable a data type of int, so we can just start simply typing int. Now I need to give the name of my variable. I'm going to call it display int. Then I'm going to go ahead and give it a value here by giving it the assignment operator and then a value of 23. And then of course, last thing we need to do is complete the statement by putting a semicolon. Now you can see that the console.write line, the debug write lines are both looking for the display text, which has now been commented out. So these lines here will not operate so long as that display text is commented out. Now we could go ahead and comment all of this out, but really I'm just going to go ahead and replace this display text variable with the display int variable instead. So I've made my changes and I put display int for both the console.write line and the debug write line. Now you'll probably notice also that the dot count is got this red squiggly line underneath it. And that's because this extension method of dot count does not work on a type of integer. And in fact, since this is a numerical value, we probably don't need this line at all. Let's go ahead and comment this out as well. Now that we've made our changes, let's go ahead and save the file and run our application. You can see our console window now gives an output of 23 as well as our output window down here in our Visual Studio output window. So now that we know that the int data type works, let's try a double now. I'm going to once again comment out this display int variable and create a new variable here underneath it. We're going to give this a data type of double, and we're going to call it display double. We're also going to need to assign it a value. And then, of course, last but not least, we need to go ahead and put a semicolon at the end of our statement. Now we need to change our console.write line and debug write line to use the new variable. Once we've made our changes, we can go ahead and save our code and then run it again. As you can see, we have the value of 25.00323983489.24, which is precisely the value that I put down here when I coded this project. We also can see down in the output window the same value.